Hi, Dr. Mark Uridel here with a manual technique video. Keep in mind, this is a demonstration of the practical application of information in a related course. I recommend that you take a hands-on workshop to learn these techniques in more detail before applying them. Enjoy! Now let's take a look at the posterior lumbar spine anatomy. You can see the erector spinae here, iliocostalis coming from the ribs along the lateral aspect of the spine, attaching into the lumbosacral fascia. If I peel this back, you can see the other muscles here, longissimus, spinalis. These muscles co-join into the lumbosacral fascia. Underneath you can see the multifidi, which is a number of muscles that leapfrog two to four vertebra going from the transverse process across the lamina to the spinous process. So this is a multifidus muscle, this is a multifidus muscle, this is a multifidus muscle. Altogether the multifidi. Here we see the quadratus lumborum originating on the iliac crest attaching along the lumbar spine transverse processes and then also inserting on the 12th rib. Now as we see lower, the lumbosacral fascia attaches in through here. Here we see the posterior sacroiliac ligaments, very strong ligaments that stabilize the sacroiliac joint. You can see how that melds into the sacrotuberous ligament attaching from the sacrum to the ischial tuberosity. This is the sciatic nerve coming through the notch, sciatic notch. And here you see the caudiquina horse's tail, which is the bottom of the spinal cord. Begin with longitudinal glides using fingers and thumbs. This warms up the tissue, releases some of the superficial tension, and I'm also using it to assess the deeper muscles in the erector spinae. Sliding my thumbs into the laminar groove now, going a little bit deeper. You can also slide out into the quadratus lumborum using deeper finger pressure or deeper thumb pressure. And also use thumb pressure along the bladder meridian, pressing on bladder points 21 through 25. The research shows that acupressure has a positive effect on low back pain. You can even follow this down to the beginning of the sacrum here. You can also use some 
patient-assisted techniques where the patient makes the left leg longer as I work into the quadratus lumborum. That gentle pelvic depression stretches the muscle, enhances the release of the lateral erector spinae as well as the quadratus lumborum.